The next technique I'm going to use is a dark flat wash of a light color. The lightest color I have in my color scheme will be yellow green. So because my water became as dark as it, it did, I took my brush over to the sink and cleaned it before getting started. And now I have my clear water to use for this color. So yellow is lighter than green and I'm going to take that color first and bring it on over here. And I want to be careful because I don't want any of the blue violet to come into this area. So you can see there's a division on the palette that will keep this yellow in a safe location. And I need more yellow than green. And because this is a dark flat wash, I won't use quite as much water as I did with my blue violet color. So I have yellow in there. Rinse off my brush and get just the slightest amount of the green. I could also use blue to get a yellow green appearance. I want a little bit more yellow. So I have my yellow green and I'm going to select a shape to do the wash in. And again, I need my paper towels handy. Pull this across the paper. Try to get straight edges. In order to do that, I use the tip of the brush and run it along the edge of my pencil line. Now you'll notice that my pencil marks are quite dark. And usually with watercolor, you want a much lighter line quality so you don't see the pencil marks in the painting when you're completed. Now I want to make that color darker. But before I go back on top of it with a second wash, I need to make sure it's completely dry. So I'll do that first. If I didn't have the paper dry before doing the second wash, it would probably lift some of my pigment off of the paper and it wouldn't be a smooth, flat wash. So I'm mixing up my yellow-green pigment again. This time I think I will add a slight more amount of green doesn't take much to make it a little too dark. And I just repeat the process, putting another wash on top. The challenge is to get a light color to appear dark, and you need to do it in layers. So after this one, I would allow it to dry again, 
and probably put a third wash on top. Hair dryers are great tools when working with watercolor because you frequently need to dry an area before going into another area. Otherwise you get a bleeding effect which is a technique in and of itself called wet on wet and we'll be using that technique in a moment. I will dry this and add another layer. <laughs> 